Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Leo, and then I'll see the ener energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. So Spirit is saying, avoid the boy who wants to be a man but isn't ready. Okay. So Spirit is saying, avoid the man, I mean, avoid the boy who wants to be a man but isn't ready. So if you dated anybody who you get in, like, that page or night energy, you know, Spirit is saying, avoid them, okay? Avoid the, avoid the boy who wants to be a man but isn't ready, okay? You guys are looking for king and emperor status right now, okay? And don't get me wrong, you know, a lot of um, pages and nights, you know, I know that some of them come off, you know, as very flighty, immature, um, you know, and, and a lot of them do have the potential to grow into a king or an emperor. But Spirit is saying right now, Sunstein, you guys, because, you know, for the a while where I've been picking up on your energy, a lot of you guys are in emperor's energy, you know? And you want someone of your vibration, okay? Um, you're not here to raise no boy into a man, okay? And not saying that they have to come to you as fit, but you know, some of them, you know, you're not with the game, Sunseeds. You've been through a lot, you know, and you're not with somebody that's just trying to charm and want to die you, okay? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Spirit said, avoid the boy who wants to be a man but isn't ready, okay? I feel like you guys' intuition would definitely tell you if you in this situation, a lot of you guys are highly intuitive. I get a lot of high priestess vibes and empress, you know, with you guys when I pull your um, pull on your energy when I do my collective readings. So a lot of you guys are highly intuitive. Spirit, give me some more messages for my collective sun Avoid the with well, this avoid a boy. Just a spirit is saying avoid the person that just can't get it right. Okay. So this is for new love. And for the ones who are in the dating scene right now, okay? So if you're not looking for new love and you're not dating right now, okay, then, you know, this message may not be for you. So Spirit is saying flirt with him, using your, flirt with him, using your body, smile, and laugh more, okay? So a lot of you guys need to get out and flirt, okay? A lot of you guys are in this energy of whoever this person is that you manifested in. You guys are flirting a lot. Okay, and what, what Spirit is saying, using your body, I'm getting, because you know body language is everything, right? So you letting this person know, like, you're not, you're not using your body, you're, you know, because a lot of you guys, I know my son Steve, y'all sexy, y'all already know, y'all sexy, y'all not using your, um, your sex appeal as an advantage to, you know, get what you want. Meaning, what I say with flirt with your body is that, you know, you letting this person know that, by your by your body because your body you know has a language of its own your body is you know energy somebody can know you having a good time somebody can know you enjoying a company you know you could just they could just know and they could just know with your smile and your laugh you he he ha you laughing you know body language is everything that's a, <laughs> I, listen it'll let a person know you having a good time so spirit is saying flirt flirt okay smile laugh more okay it's okay it's okay, some seeds, all right? You know, everybody, every every man or every woman is not the same, okay? And don't miss out on love thinking because what somebody did in the past is going to be the same. Mm -mm. Somebody want to talk to you. Somebody like, listen, I want to talk to you, okay? I want to take you out. So just flirt more, okay? Don't be all crunchy and looking like you know you don't, you ain't manifested this. Don't be one of them people that manifest something and then when it comes, you acting on like you don't know what this is. Okay? The spirit is saying flirt with him. Using your body, smile, and laugh more. Okay? You guys deserve it, son. See, you, you deserve it. Holy Spirit. A lot of you guys are avoiding a boy that wants to be a man. Okay? And I uh, found somebody who you just going out having a good time laughing and smiling with. Just enjoy yourself. A lot of you guys are very sexy, beautiful skin, beautiful full lips, nice nose, okay? A lot of you guys know how to dress, okay? I'm getting a very elegant energy, okay? Don't show a lot, but show just enough 
to what they know what they're working with. <laughs> All right, Sussy. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages from my beautiful collective. So we have be his prized possession. Spirit is saying be his prized possession. Okay, let him know. Let him know. Let him know if he do right what he got. Okay? For some of you guys, you guys will be dating somebody older than you or, or younger than you. Take the energy how it resonates. I just heard that. Okay? Spirit is saying make self-care a priority. Okay? Make self-care a priority. Okay? Um, that is very important, Sunseeds. And that and and, and I'm a, I'm a when I say an advocate or, or you know a firm believer, self-care is so imp important. Okay? Because if you don't take care of yourself, and you know in, in, in your needs, how could you feel good around somebody else? I had posted something on my community board not too long ago, but I said invest in your beauty bill, okay? And that's good, that just, that's for your mental health, not for the next. When you do this self-care, you do this for you, not for somebody else, okay? If somebody else, you know, of course they gonna enjoy it, but you make sure you do that because that's what you need to do, okay? Whether that's massages, going to the gym, taking care, you know, um, your nails, your feet, going out and buying yourself nice things because you deserve it, okay? Because a lot of times, a lot of you guys, um, you know, you take care of the kids. I know you guys are very hardworking. You make sure the home and the kids, you know, everybody else around you well. And then when you get to yourself, you guys cheat yourself. Spiritually, don't cheat yourself because that self-care is very important. And it's important for your mental health because when you look good, you feel good, Sunseeds. Make that a priority. So for a lot of you guys who are, you know, manifesting new love or, 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 or in a dating scene or, you know, just thinking about dating and starting over, Spirit is saying you got to make your self-care a priority, okay? Because if you're an empress or you're a goddess, you got to show up. You got to show up. You got to make the divine look good, okay? You got to make the divine, you got to make the, the universe, like, you better show up. You better show up. And you got to show up making sure we look good, okay? Because you're a reflection of the divine, okay? So Spirit is saying make your self-care a priority, okay? You guys are very sexy. A lot of you guys have been, a lot of you guys have been cheating yourself. Spirit said, mm-mm, don't do that. Okay? Embrace yourself. Okay? A lot of you guys could have um be thinking or just, you know, get in the um because I see this glitter on her um on her skin right here. This glitter on her skin, but the rest of her skin looks, you know, so smooth. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the um the um 24 carry um facial mask. Um a lot of you guys are definitely um Stepping up, thank you, Spirit. A lot of you guys are definitely stepping up your self care um, regiment. A lot of you guys are getting facials. <laughs> a lot of you guys are coming. Y'all coming through, son. See? <laughs> Let them know. Spirit said, "Be his prized possession." Holy Spirit, give me some more for my beautiful collective, son. See? Please and thank you. Okay, so Spirit says switch the roles during sex. So a lot of you guys are um, definitely um, um, in the energy of, you know, having, you know, having, you know, having sex, okay? Um, so a lot of you guys are just, I'm hearing lovebirds. I don't know. <laughs> so a lot of you guys have found somebody and y'all just having a darn long good time. Do your thing, son, sis, and don't you ever be scared, okay? You know, just make sure you guys, you know, always protecting yourself, um, um, you know. But just do whatever makes you happy. Spirit says switch the rules up, okay? Um, You don't want to be boring, okay? Have fun with it. Have fun. Have fun. When you're dating, you're not dating with the, uh, I'm, I'm going to be, the Spirit is saying you're not dating with, um, Oh, okay. With the expectation, like, um, I know, I know this is my husband, or I know this is my wife. You're dating to have fun, to get to know this person, okay? Like, when you know you start a new job, you get a 90 days po um, probation period, okay? Usually most jobs give you 90 days probation period. You having fun, okay? You get to know this person. 
You see if this person is right for you. Okay? So Spirit is saying switch the roles up. Okay? Make it fun. Okay? A lot of you guys have avoided the boy that wanted to be a man. And you guys have gotten out and started dating. And you're smiling and you're laughing more. You're feeling more light, um, light uh, hearted. You know? Um, somebody feels like you just a whole package, like, um, <laughs> you my prized possession. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be in the, um, in the, um, in your energy. I'm happy to be in the presence of someone like you because, you know, what, what the next didn't appreciate, somebody else is appreciating. And it's not your, your body, it's your energy. Somebody loves the way how your the energy of what your what your body brings off. Like somebody's just like you know, I'm getting that high vibrational energy. Okay, somebody loves the way how you take care of yourself. Okay, you're not just um coming out looking any type of way. Okay, because you don't know that could be the one. You know, you gotta always be mindful of how you dress and how you looking because you never know. Universe could be telling you like, listen. Yo, yo, your person is down the street. Your person is at the supermarket you about to go to. Your person is at that carnival you about to go to. The person is at that mall you about to go to. That person is at that that football game or that boxing game or you know or wherever you about to go in the neighborhood or wherever. And you out here looking like Kook Cha Chang. Like no, spirit is like mm mm. You know. So you always want to make sure you look at you know. And I know sometimes. Listen, what they say the corner store and the gas station man. The scenes you at your worst, okay? I'm not saying that, so see, I'm just saying when you know that you're going somewhere to an event and it's going to be you there more than, I'm going to be, okay, I'm going to say more than an hour. I'm not saying go out there looking all glamified, but make sure you just take a little extra time to make sure you're just looking good, okay? All right, so. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages for my beautiful collective sunkies who's manifesting new love, who's in the dating game right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so we have compromise. Okay, compromise sometimes and make it about the relationship needs. So spirit is giving me okay. With, ooh, this is y'all. <laughs> this is y'all man. Hello, sunsies. Hello, sunsies. Hello, ring a ring a ring. Is this show me? <laughs> Anyway, Sussy, Spirit is saying compromise sometimes, okay? And make it about the relationship needs. Don't always make it about you, 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 okay? When you want when you want a relationship, there's no the moment you, you decided to commit to a relationship, you is out of the picture. Now if you want to be about a you, 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 then you need to stay single. Because the moment that you decided to commit commit yourself to someone and put yourself in a relationship. It's no more longer you, okay? Compromise. When you make any decision, it, when you decide what you're going to eat that night, when you decide what color spread you want on that bed, um, whatever comforter, whatever pillow, how you want to do the house, you make sure that you add your person in, okay? This is what it is being in a relationship. You compromise, okay? You make the... You, you make them feel like their thoughts and their ideas are, you know, valuable. Okay? You take that into consideration. Okay? Okay? Yeah, Spirit is saying don't be the needy one. Okay? Don't be the, the don't, don't, again, don't be the one that's always like, it's me, 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 I need this, I need, no! If you feel like that, then you need to be single and, 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 and do this damn thing by yourself. But if you want this, you need to you need to like pump your brakes and, and make it about us. When you become a, when you get in a relationship, it's no more you. It's us. Everything is us. Down to what you gonna eat at night. Okay. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't be that. Don't be that one that just feels like. And I'm not saying that whoever your person is. They're not going to put you on this pedestal or they're not going to treat you like the empress or the emperor who you are, okay? Or king or queen who you are. It's just that don't be so needy. Don't always be like, me, 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 I need it, I need that. Like, no. What about what they need? What about what us need? You know? Okay. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages from my friends. Please and thank you. 
And, th- and then you got somebody that's waiting for you to show up. Like somebody like <laughs> somebody <laughs> somebody like nevertheless, I know what I want. Okay? I know where I you know, I know where I want. I know what I want. And it's you. I'm getting the, I don't know, I'm here waiting for it. So you gotta take that how it resonates. I'm here and waiting for it. Somebody is definitely waiting for you. So Spirit is saying, trust your intuition, okay? She knows what she's talking about. Mm. What did I say earlier? I'm getting a lot of my, you know, when I pull you, you know, you guys, collective energy. And most of my readers, I get empress and high priestess for you guys. So a lot of you guys are very beautiful. And a lot of you guys are highly intuitive. You, a lot of you guys know a lot. Okay? Spirit is saying, trust your intuition. She knows what she's talking about. Okay? So you could be he or she. And I do have um, I do have a few, you know, divine masculines that do watch my channel, Sunseeds. Okay? Um, but Spirit is saying, you know, and this can be also, um, you know, I read energy. There's no gender in tarot. You could be dealing with somebody, Sunseeds, and this man could know exactly what they're talking about. Trust their intuition, Spirit is saying. A lot of you guys um, have people, you know, um, um, dealing with people who are very highly intuitive, just as well as you, okay? And Spirit is saying, trust their intuition. This person knows what they're talking about, okay? I feel like somebody who genuinely cares about you, have love for you, um, they're not gonna steer you wrong. Maybe they, maybe, it's not that you may not know something, because, uh, like I said, with the high priestess, I feel like you guys are very highly intuitive. But sometimes, sun seeds, you can overlook something. Or maybe something just, you know, you just, you just, you just, maybe something that you just didn't see and your other cynic for other maybe have seen that and they wanted you, you know, like, do this or, you know, or you shouldn't do this, babe, you know, or I think you should do this, babe. You don't know everything, okay? You don't know everything, Okay? You, you, but you are highly intuitive, okay? Your intuition is always on 100. But sometimes you might be, you never know, you might overlook something. Maybe a little crack in the area, something that you might maybe overlook. And maybe your divine partner is like, you know, babe, I see such and such, you know, no, no. And I'm trying to warn you, like, maybe, you know, don't, you know, just chill with that. Or, or, or you didn't see that. Or, you, y'all partner is no more one. Okay, if you want one, you have to stay single. You are in a relationship. It's about two. And they see what you don't see. Okay? So Spirit is saying, trust their intuition. Okay? Trust their intuition. Okay? They know what they're talking about. For a lot of them guys, for a lot of you guys, somebody is very fortunate enough to have a high priestess and an empress and the energy. Okay? You could tell this person, you could see something, and you could be like, no, babe, mm -mm, no, 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 I see something you ain't see. Uh Uh-uh, don't do that. And I'm like, again, what I'm getting with this prize possession, it's not like somebody's looking at you like, oh, you know, you the prize, or I could lynch off you, or I could, um, I could get this. No. It's just that somebody feels like the way you think. Your energy, your vibe, baby, your vibe, it's just unmatched, okay? It's not its not about material when it comes to this, with, with this um, prized possession. It's, it's your, the way how you think, your mind, okay? How you think, you know, way further than other people. Having a good conversation. You got some people that can't even have a conversation. I know some people that cannot have a conversation. And then you have some woman that can have a conversation for three and four and five and six hours before you know it. You say, dang, I've been on the phone with you for six and seven hours. And then you have some people that just like, you know, I like to text, you know, give you two, two, two point five. No, it's people out here that just, it just don't, you don't come by you every day, Sunseeds, especially in this new generation. Okay? Everything, everybody think everything is social media and text messaging. You know, this no. Remember back in the day when we used to be on the phone for hours falling asleep? It wasn't even no FaceTime. You ain't even had to see their face. But you could feel the energy. You could feel a vibe on the phone with a conversation that'll have you up all night. You understand? Okay. Let's put one more stuff here before we get into the tarot. I'm getting an energy. Somebody could have that. Def- somebody could have went out on a, uh, a movie date, 
or to the movie because I heard popcorn. So I don't know how that resonates. <laughs> I heard popcorn. I don't know if you and your person been eating popcorn. Maybe at a carnival or but movies. So I think about popcorn. I think about movies. So maybe you guys went on a movie date or something. Or maybe somebody asking you out on a movie date. You need to take you need to take one for that offer. Spirit, give me one more Holy Spirit, please. And thank you for my beautiful collection. So okay. So Spirit is saying talk to him nicely. Okay. Spirit is saying talk to him nicely. Okay. A lot of you guys, okay. Um I feel like we'll talk to him nicely is giving me, you know, um, talk to him nicely, finesse with your words. It's giving me an energy of, I don't want anything from you, like what I just said. You know, I take, you know, I'm taking very good care of myself as far as my self-care. Um, I'm protecting my energy. Um, I'm lovable. You're highly intuitive. Okay. You're very confident. Thank you, Spirit. You're very confident. But Spirit is saying, talk to him nicely. Um, it's giving me of, with that finesse with your words, is conversation, good conversation. You guys have good conversation, okay? Give me another card on um, talk to him nicely, finesse with your words. I feel like you guys have good conversation, what I just said. You guys know you guys know how to hold a conversation. It's not that many people out here that still even know how to hold a conversation, okay? So Spirit is saying, like him for his personality, and he will naturally... I asked Spirit to clarify, talk to him nicely, finesse him with your words. Spirit said, might come for his personality, and he would naturally give you his wallet. Okay. I feel like with this energy, Sunseed, uh, you're not looking for what this person could do for you. But let's keep it real, okay? A man don't um a man don't provide, a man don't eat. Okay, it's in the Bible, okay? Take it how it resonates, okay? Somebody who naturally, naturally um, can see that you, everything about you is naturally, I mean, everything about you is natural, the way how you love them, the way how you talk to them, the way how you care for them. Meaning like, you know, you just call them like, hey, did you eat today? Hey, how was your day? Um, you know, hey, do you need this? You know, I was, at, um, I was at Walmart today, or I was at Marshalls today, or, you know, I was in Ross today, you know, and I'm picking up some things or whatever, and I was just wondering, you know, are you okay? Are you are you good with the soap? Are you good with, you know, T-shirts, you know, deodorant? I'm just, I just want to, I just want to make sure, you know, you're okay. And um, things like that. Um, what, what Spirit is saying, like the first personality, make, you know, everybody is different. You, there's no two people are the same. There's no two people are the same. Okay, so make this person feels like, um, I'm getting a, a person that's, um, that's different, that's been judged a lot because of their personality. Um, I'm getting a very different energy. Okay, and this person could have been definitely used to being judged. But when they come to you, when they, when they, when they with you and they in your energy, you make them feel so natural. Like, you make them feel so comfortable. They don't feel like they have to be anything but themselves. And they love that about you because you just love them so naturally. Okay, you guys have a good time. Both of you guys actually, you know, <laughs> you know, both of you guys enjoy each other personality. Okay, both of you guys are indifferent in a, in a, um, imperfect world and it makes you guys unique okay I feel like I'm getting an energy of two opposites that's uh, uh, you know attracting you know two opposites that attracts okay you guys are, are definitely dope okay for whoever this is for you guys are dope I think you're dope and this is somebody that wants to take care of you this is somebody that wants to provide for you this is somebody that also can be like you know babe um, here, you know here go a little um a little couple of extra dollars um you know maybe you should go you know get that massage that you wanted oh hey here's some money for you you know get your nails your petty you know just like how like i said you could be in the in the in the supermarket or more marshals or more like hey babe you know you, you got enough shirts babe or you know you know you go you good on a deodorant you good on the soap you know just just little 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 nicks and nads you know oh hey babe you know i'm in a mall right now and i pick it up me you know a new robe do you need a new robe or, or, or are you fine with the robe you got you know just just letting a person know you care it doesn't even have to be much you know it don't takes much of a, you don't gotta go with the most expensive things no but somebody gonna somebody and i don't know why i'm getting emotional maybe because you guys feel emotional because you have found this but it's just the thought it's just the thought that counts of letting a person know you care okay i care okay loving this person naturally this could be somebody that's not used to that okay 
you liking him, this person for their personality, not what they can do for you. Okay. Of a person know that you only looking at them for one, you know, one thing as an opp, you know, you being an opportunist or you, you know, somebody like, uh, -uh I'm not about to invest in that. No, people don't, people don't work like that. Okay. But somebody met somebody that that has a, um, a very caring energy around them, and it makes them want to, you know, treat you and buy you nice things, or just, you know, just just be there for you. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands with the higher friend. Somebody could definitely um, see you as very uh, see you as marriage material. Okay. Or someone could just be, you know, love that you're traditional, or just like doing things the traditional way. Somebody could um, be dealing with somebody like I said. I heard older in the beginning. Older, somebody could be older than you, or they um, they could be younger. But I heard older first. Um, so somebody could be very traditional. They, they could just be one of you know, do these nice, beautiful things for you. And maybe you might be this woman or this man that just used to doing everything by yourself, meaning that you are always a thank you spirit, you are always a giver. So when somebody wanna do something for you, you like, what's the motive? What they want from me? It gotta be something. Nobody don't do nothing for me. What they want from me? They No, there's somebody that just naturally loves your vibe and loves everything about you and just wanna treat you. Be open to receiving. You've been giving so, many, so much to plenty of relationships um, that that have let you down. Spirit is like, no, that's not how it works. It's equal, okay? It's equal, okay? And for a lot of times, when you be um, a god, you know, a godly man or just a man of divine or, or just being sent by the divine, okay? Because I know you, um, you know, whatever you, um, your choice of who you believe in, when you meet somebody that's, um, you know, hold a woman in high regards and they, you know, they cherish their woman, they honestly they believe in you know doing more than you know doing a little bit more than you okay um they understand what um when they when they say providing you know they feel like <laughs> i work hard for my family and i damn sure want my lady to look good okay but some of you guys this person won't even want you to work okay i can't make it up ten of cups under the bottom ten of cups okay this is somebody that um you are they can Complete satisfaction, marriage. This person feels harmony around you. Somebody feels blessed to have you because you're so organic, I'm getting. Okay? Yeah. Happy family. I heard happy happy wife, happy family. I just see the chariot. And it's going to come in quick for you. I'm here and show me what I got to do. <laughs> Holy Spirit, give me some messages for my collective sun seeds. Somebody got somebody that loves them that'll do anything for them. Mm. Somebody got somebody that loves them that'll do anything for them. Mm. Holy Spirit, give me two more messages, please, I think. Yeah, we have the hangman. Okay. Somebody been waiting for somebody like you. Okay. They have, there's somebody that um have let go of things that no longer serve them. Okay. Um... Somebody had to, this could be you as well, Sunsi. So somebody had to sacrifice and leave something in the past, you know, to have this beautiful, you know, beginning. Somebody surrendered to the divine and let the divine, let the divine show them exactly what, what I could bring to you, what you deserve and of. Because they put that, that vibration out to the universe. Somebody sacrificed something from their past and they definitely put their energy back with letting go of things. Now somebody just, Somebody is an energy of just feeling free. They no longer feel stuck. Somebody was always a giver. Now somebody is an energy of being able to be open to receive. Okay, without worrying about what 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 would I what would I um what does this person want for me? You know, no, no. Some things everybody is different. I feel like for some of you guys, somebody got the eye on you. Somebody been watching you. Somebody been watching you. Somebody know you the one for them. Oh, sorry. Give me some more messages from my collective son. We have the Six of Pentacles. What did I say? Somebody wants to give. You ain't got to worry about what they want from me. You've been givers for so long. 
I'm hearing somebody like, just let me in, let me in. Because in the beginning, I heard somebody just giving somebody something like, damn. Damn, why you giving me the run around? Just let me in. Maybe in the past with this hangman and six of pentacles, you did feel stuck. Because you was always a giver. You was always giving to people. Now be open to receive. Okay? Spirit is saying, somebody's going to come in and wants to give to you. Okay? Somebody just generates. Okay? They want to share their wealth with you. Somebody want to share their kindness with you. Okay? Some, <laughs> six of pentacles is being taken care of. Okay? Receiving assistance. Being happy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody is walking into a connection where it's going to be very abundant. And abundance doesn't always mean financially. It means, you know, spiritually, mentally, you know, health-wise, not going without. You ain't going to lack nothing with this person. Y'all going to be good. I feel like you lift this person's spirit up. Something about you, you lift, you lift this person's spirit up. I can't make it up. King of Cups, you lift this person's spirit up. You lift this person's spirit up, okay? This is a very mature man, okay? Very devoted, very faithful. And this person holds a leadership role, okay? Some type of role. I'm getting a high honor role, okay? something that's in high honor. This person is reliable. You can depend on this King of Cups. And they are going to support you and love you. Some of you guys could have went out dancing. Somebody likes slow King of Wands. And it's fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sun seeds. Your person loving, caring, and fine. Fine with this King of Wands. Very ambitious. A go-getter. Okay? And what did I say with the King of Wands? I said somebody got a, I heard a, a leadership role. King of Wands are leaders. They don't run with packs. Okay? They are the pack. Somebody has somebody that is very lovable, caring, devoted, family oriented, faithful, mature, and this person is definitely a leader. They're entrepreneur. It's a boss, okay? This person was, you know, very independent, but they, they came into somebody and your energy, and they like, man, I want you. you t <laughs> I heard, I heard you turn this, you turn this person world around. Mm. You turn this person world around. I'm hearing you they dream girl, dream guy, take it how it resonates. Ooh. Somebody feels like it gotta be real with you. It gotta be real. Somebody fell in love. But some of you guys, you fell in love quick with this person. We had the two of swords, okay? You fell in love very quick with this person, okay? For a lot of you guys, you didn't see this happening. You wasn't even expecting this to happen. You didn't. You wasn't expecting this to happen. You wasn't expecting this to happen at all. But it's something that just... It happened. Maybe you and this person is very indifferent. Okay? But you fell in love with it. You get caught on the hand, me, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Yeah. Six of swords. You know, somebody... I feel like some you were stuck in the past. Okay? You were stuck, but you had you sacrificed somebody to get to your happiness. And with the six of swords, it's letting me know that you definitely moved away. Okay? You knew to have this, you had to surrender. Okay? This was you releasing baggage from the past, understanding your worth, moving on, accepting the lessons. Whatever lessons that you learned from the past, accepting them lessons, surrendering, surrendering to the divine, and you know, just overcoming hardship. Knowing your worth. Knowing your worth. Somebody could have been in their head about it for a while, but somebody definitely decided to make that move. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. You sacrificed somebody from your past. Okay, you let go. Somebody from your past that betrayed you. Yes, you were backstab. Yes, you were betrayed. Okay? It was a lot. But you guys decided to end something with someone who you just felt like it was just it was it it was just bad luck dealing with that person. Okay? Spirit is saying, um, your person been through some things too. That's why your person was very cautious of who they invest in, who they work with. 
both of you guys are waiting on for on each other. Both of you guys have definitely manifested each other. For some, for some of you guys, okay, you have somebody from your past, okay. They could, you know, Pete. Um, I'm gonna be honest. People from your past, they could feel when you're in the energy of new love, okay. Somebody, um, you know, wants to reconcile with you, okay. Okay, could be, you know. Whoever this old, somebody has an old lover that want to come back, okay? They feel like, no, you belong to them, okay? Oh, thank you, Spirit. Somebody from your past is reminiscing about you as well. They feel like you are a star. Somebody felt like they missed out on a star, okay? Somebody who you sacrificed, you decided to release, okay? You decided to heal yourself and focus on your self-confidence, your creativity, your beauty, Okay, your finances. Okay. Yeah, we have the death card. Okay. Uh, we have Aquarius, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio out here. Pisces again. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I can't make it up. Okay, so somebody definitely went through some type of ascension, went through a death and a rebirth after leaving something from the past that no longer serves them. Somebody definitely walked into the Ten of Pentacles. They walked into a connection where it's going to be very stable, very solid. Um, someone that you're going to, for some of you guys, you're going to marry into someone with uh, money um, who has some type of legacy. Um, and it comes from, it stems all the way down to their roots. Okay. Someone who has um, a business. Okay. Somebody who already is established. Six of Wands, Spirit said that's the damn truth. Okay. Yeah, with the King of Pentacles. Six of Wands and the King of Pentacles. God damn. So I see the way I met this person there. Somebody very successful. Six of Wands with the King of Pentacles? Mm. Okay. Yeah, with the Sun card. You're going to be very happy. You're going to be very happy. Oof. Love, fulfillment, luck. Luck is on your side. And I see you guys taking a leap of faith towards your happiness. Siri, give me a card on the tennis sports for my beautiful collective sun seeds. Please and thank you. Ooh. Tennis sports was clarified with the lovers and the knight of cups. Okay. Some of you guys, you have an option between two. You have an option to go back to your past. Okay, with someone who betrayed you that wants to come in and see if they can handle a situation for you. For others, you guys are definitely in a dating scene or, or moving on, um, being open to this new romance. Okay, um, someone who you feel like um, is your prince charming. Okay, but somebody is very highly attracted to you. Okay, whoever the soulmate uh, union is. Okay, and somebody else sees you getting away with this six of swords. Ooh, somebody see you get away. I can't make it up. Ace of Cups. I cannot make it up. You guys have new love. Somebody called this in. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Period. You guys are, you found your divine counterpart. Somebody of your own vib your vibration. Both of you guys are grounded. You got the Six of Wands with the King of Pentacles. This person's an entrepreneur, a boss, family oriented, very loyal. Um, husband, wife, me material. You have you have a king in a and the Queen of Pentacles. These are divine counterparts out here. Okay, two people that's down to earth, very generous, very caring, you know, business owners. Okay? Or just um, you know, just um very practical when it comes to, you know, um, you know, your business, you know, your motherly duties. You know, you handle that. You handle that, okay? Just two people that's very responsible, okay? And it's gonna be a it's gonna be a success with the six of ones with the ace of cups. Somebody has new love. Period. And we have the shrimp card with justice. Okay? This is your justice for being strong. Putting yourself first. Okay? Libra, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay? The shrimp card with the justice. This is you being strong. Putting out that vibration to the universe, which you deserve. This is your justice. Okay? And you got somebody that's bitter. Somebody that's mad. They don't want to see this for you, but it's here. Give me a card for this night of cups. Holy Spirit. You're shining armor. <laughs> somebody else is stressed. 
Yeah, somebody else is stressed because they know you have new love here. We have the page of pentacles. Okay. Somebody knows you have a new beginning. Okay. Some of you guys could be definitely um manifesting, you know, this new job or manifested this new solid, you know, be relationship. Okay, Queen of Cups. Come on now. So I see both of you guys are you got the queen, you got the king, you got the king, and you, you got the queen of cups, the king of cups, you got the queen of pentacles. And the king of pentacles two people too mature too mature people that is reliable loving caring supportive very nurturing both of you guys are highly intuitive that's why spirit is saying trust your intuition she or he knows what she, what, what they're talking about you're dealing with somebody that sun seeds you're highly intuitive and your person is too okay this is the you are a mother figure, they're a father figure, okay? You mess somebody with your vibration. Because you was able to have the courage and the confidence to move away with the six of swords from something that no longer serve you. Okay? Period. I knew she was coming. I knew she was coming. I knew she was coming. Somebody is definitely admiring you. Okay? Somebody wants to propose to you. I'm telling you, it's gonna shock you, it's gonna surprise you. Okay? Empress, you guys are very fertile at this time. For some of you guys, you guys are pregnant. You could be pregnant by this um this person. Okay. Maybe you guys could be in a new relationship and you're pregnant. Or you got if you got if this is not somebody who's pregnant, this is just somebody who's just very fertile at this time. And you know, you guys are manifesting at a rapid pace. You know, the Empress, you are abundant. Okay. You have this very divine feminine energy all about you. Everything is is you're very feminine. That's what I'm gonna say. You're very feminine. You're very beautiful. Okay. You have grown a lot. You have grown a lot. And somebody sees you as marriage material. Okay. You guys are in the energy of now are reaping rewards when it comes to your finances and your love life because you had the strength and you had the courage. You had the the courage to stand into your power. Okay. It's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Period. We decided to make wise decisions, okay? And that is beautiful. Maybe you had to leave a traditional mindset behind. Maybe you felt like somebody in your past, you watched your parents or your aunts, your uncles, whoever, stay in connections where people mistreated them and hurted them because they had time and with them. And you probably felt like, you know, I can't, you know, I have a lot of time and history with this person. You know, maybe I should stay. But no, somebody said, mm mm. Somebody ancestors and they answered the, the, the ancestors ace of swords <laughs> spirit said that's the damn truth. Somebody ancestors said, uh uh. Mm -mm. How you want no no, but you don't even want to make no new moves. Ace of swords. Somebody kept five of cups. Somebody got got tired of being in that energy of regret. You know, heartbreak. Okay? Feeling way down. Feeling unwelcome. Somebody not cherishing you. Now you found somebody. Five of swords. Okay? Now you found somebody. Okay? After leaving a situation that was nothing but conflict. Okay? Disagreement. A lot of betrayal. Okay? A lot of deceit. It was no no win with this person from your past. Now you met somebody who's... Huh, change your world. You could be seeing 555. Five, five, but you got truth to clarity that it was time to change. The Ace of Swords with, with this Five of Cups and Five of Swords, you got the truth and clarity that something needed to change. And if I don't change within me, I could never have this true love. Period. Ten of Cups with Ten of Wands. Ten, ten. Something is over. That's why you got this new love. I love you, Sun Seeds. I hope this reading helped you guys, give you guys some type of clarity. You know, for the ones who have definitely manifested new love and who are in a dating scene, you guys definitely chose you. Just like um, whoever you're dealing with, they choosing you. Okay? Period. Period.